Okay, um, welcome to Badminton uh, Trash Talk TV. I'm your host Jonas Ludwig, and I will do this uh, program with you uh, every week. Uh, what this program is going to be about is that um, we're going to bring up uh, different subjects uh, in the badminton world, around the badminton world. We're bringing in coaches, uh, players, uh, I don't know, uh, officials, just discussing uh, different uh, subjects. And um, mainly, I will have my my expert by my side here, Bobby Milroy, and um, we're actually going to bring topics up that, that you guys have been discussing on the, our website forum at babinsonsite.com and um, we will kick this Babinson TV, kickstart it, we'll start it right now with one of the subjects that, uh, that's put up, up here, that Peter Gate and Bobby, I'm, I'm, I'm a Dane, so, so I know what these guys think about gate, but I'll ask you, is this guy really the number one player in the world again? Because he clearly was once. Yeah, uh, well, I, I'll admit that Peter Gade was ranked number one in the world for one week, but that's all. You know, actually, as of two days ago, Lee Chung Wai is number one in the world, and by the way, Lin Dan is number two, and Lin Dan, look on the world ranking, he only has nine tournaments. Gate has uh, 10 and actually 13. He's got these backups. Lindana has 9. All he has to do is make like a, a third round of, uh, of Taiwan Open or Hong Kong. And he, it, he, he could go to New Zealand and win it. And he would be number 1. So in my opinion, actually, Lee Chung, uh, evidence is Lee Chung Wai is ranked number 1 right now, not Peter. But Lindan, he still is the best. He's winning every tournament. Yeah, and even the ones he doesn't win, he's... Uh, He's losing 23-21. But, 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 but are you telling me that he's just? Uh, I mean, this is uh, uh, this uh, this uh, number one thing is, is just a, a, a mistake that he's only like he's only. No, 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 no. Gate is not. Uh, Gate is one of the best players in the world. But these Danes, I mean, I, I they're, they're drinking the Kool Aid over here. I mean, they think uh, they think that Peter Gate he uh, he craps ice cream. I mean, anything he ever did was the greatest, and he's always been number one in the mind of every Dane. But the fact is, right now, he's one of the best three or four players in the world. He's been that for one or two years, and he used to be but by far he, the best. Is he, Bobby? Let me ask you straight. Is he, right now, overrated? Well, of course he's overrated by the Danes. Like I said, like as far as, a, as, far as a, if you ask a Danish person... Uh, even if you ask Kenneth Jonas and you get Kenneth here, Kenneth will tell you, Peter Gade has never hit a shuttle outside the court. Peter Gade never lost a match. Peter Gade never lost a point. That's uh, the mentality over here. And so, of course, he's overrated. Uh, I would say that... Uh, I would say... I, no, I don't, think he, I don't think he's overrated. He, he deserves uh, the ranking he has. But again... Uh, uh, Which is number three. <laughs> but, you know, at, uh, at our website, and thank you, by the way, for writing at our website. We, we we're very happy about that. We have uh, the subject here called a gate. That's why we bring it up. This guy, uh, this guy here called the Dane, saying that Peter Gillis back at number one, and he would have been a world champion, Olympic champion, if it hadn't been for his injury recent years ago. Do you agree with that? Ah, uh, that 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 is exactly the type of thing that the Danes are saying. They're saying like basically he did win the Olympics. He did win. He did win the worlds every time. No, that's not what happened. He was ranked number one in the world for four years. He changed the game of badminton. He won something like. 15 to 20 Grand Prix tournaments. That's uh, one of the best careers ever. But you can't go and say, oh, he did win the Olympics, or he should have won the Olympics, he should have won the Worlds. No. Uh, Sunjin should have won the year that Sunjin won. Hendrawan should have won the year Hendrawan won. Gate, he got a bronze and a silver. That's not, that's not bad either, you know? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think this is about so, it. So, so, I guess the answer will come pretty easy now. Will he win the Worlds or the Olympics? Uh, no, I don't think that's. Uh, I, I don't think the answer comes easy because I consider him a threat to win. Okay, come on, Bobby. This guy is still. He's like. You you say the the things overrating. This guy is still number one in the world. How can you say a number one in the world is not 
a guy who can do it. He's not the number one. He was number one. I know. I am saying that it is possible that he does it. I, I am saying that. Uh, I'm just saying that he. Yeah, but you still say he's overrated too. He's overrated in that, like, he's not going to win for sure. He's not the favorite. Like, who's going to who, who, win for sure? Uh, I'd say the the number one contenders are are Lindet, Lee Chung Wai, Chen Jin, and Peter Gade. That's what say he is within the, the four who can win. Yeah, I, I see him as, as as one of the ones that can win it. I don't am, am I leaving out somebody? I don't think I don't think Lee Hyun has a chance, uh, to be honest. He could, he's one of the guys that could beat everyone. I don't think Taufik has a chance. I don't believe in him. Um yeah, but but let, let, let's uh, let's stay with Gate here. So like, well, what do, where, where where would you put Gate like in the history of that? Is is he right up there with with the greatest? Is he like let, let let's compare him to a, another great Dane, Paul Eric Hoyer. If you should choose, would you choose Peter Gale's career, or would you choose Paul Eric Hoyer? I think uh, Peter Gate uh, is. Uh... He got more girls because uh, he was more regularly famous. So I think he achieved a higher level of fame. So that's maybe why I would choose Gade's. But the fact is that Gade, I think Gade achieved a higher level than maybe any day and ever. The consistent day in, day out, over a period of 10 years, Peter Gade has been, he's been within the top five in the world. Uh, he's won, like I said, so many, uh, he, he won so many Grand Prix in that. But there are Danes who perform better. Paul Eric was an incredible performer, Olympic champion, uh, All England two-time champion. Peter Rasmussen, that's a world champion. Uh, these guys were performers. They were performing extremely high in individual circumstances, and Gabe hasn't actually shown that. What he's shown is that he can go day in day out, and he. Uh, I mean, that is one thing. But to be honest, I think that uh, as of today, he would trade everything for a world or an Olympic title. Would you say he had a good or great career so far? Oh, he's had a great career. There's no doubt about it, because Gade, he changed the game. And very few players can ever say that. Gade actually invented this uh, pure speed style. He invented the style where you're attacking the net every time. But, he but he it, invented the technique that everybody's using today. So th that is something that uh, I, I, he doesn't always get credit for, but, but he did do that, you know. But 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 but, but l again, l let's let's compare Gale to one of these uh, these uh, legends uh, in sports, like in 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 basketball stuff like that. Isn't he like one of these guys, a uh, Carl Malone, who he might be a Hall of Famer, but he never got the big one? Would Gale would Gale's career be complete if he did do do not win one of the big ones? Okay, he won the All England. Let's be fair to him. It is a big one, but really, really, all we're England, talking World Olympics. Will he win it? Yes and no. I want a straight answer. I don't want anything. He could, he should, blah, blah, blah. Will he win Olympics or World Championship before he reaches that? No. Okay. And uh, I think that will be the worst for the first uh, um, episode of uh, Trash Talk TV. We look forward to uh, seeing you again next week.